All right, I'm bored. You're bored. Let's get this over with. This is, is as you can see, it's gonna be what they who had a mermaid quirk. It's gonna be transformation, not a mutation. And I actually got this idea from someone named Rod, the angelic fox, I believe. I guess I saw how he did his version of this. I thought, huh, that's that's very interesting. But let, let me try something here. And yeah, mine is gonna be as you can, if you have seen his version, a bit different. All right. <clears throat> we we start all with Suku you now being born. He's normal, everything's all peachy, up until he turns four and he's taking a bath, and go, go, go and puts him in the tub, and then his quirk finally activates, she's really like, Hizashi, Hizashi, come, come look at this, he runs in, and it's like, what, what was it, what's wrong, and she says, our baby boy, his his quirk, it finally appeared. He, she sees something more along the lines of this. Well, so she is terrified seeing this. This is more of what he sees: glowing eyes, the menacing smile. He he stumbles back. He's like, oh oh god no. He goes like, wait wait, what's wrong? Like it's it's nothing. It's let's let's take him to the quirk doctor to get his quirk evaluated. He head there and he's not going to the same quirk doctor because I have feelings about that quirk doctor. <clears throat> Either way, he tells them that your son has a pretty amazing quirk. It's a transformation, and it seems like he can breathe underwater, move incredible speeds underwater. Who knows? You might even be able to talk in complete senses underwater. If anything, you should keep an eye on him and see if he develops any more abilities thanks to this quirk. Izuku's all happy and excited. Like, yes, I can finally be a hero. He goes happy for him while Zashi's being quiet. Well, she has been started getting a little distant and even taking up drinking. One day he comes home drunk and he goes crying. Deku sees his parents argue and he says, let's see if I can at least make mom happy. And this is when he just starts singing. And they stop arguing and Inko and Azashi just walk up to Deku and say Izuku your your voice it's beautiful Deku decides wait really and Inko just hugs Deku saying hey, thank you I need that Azashi just looking at his son like, huh. what else can that quirk do? But, you know, he, he does go to school. Everyone knows, knows about his quirk. Bongo is more friendly to him since he does have a quirk, but he still thinks his explosions are better. But seriously, the kids know. Who would do better in a fight? Someone who can actually breathe underwater and fight with you, or someone who can just cause explosions through the, his sweat, which he won't be able to do underwater. <laughs> what about that, Bakugo? In a way, months have passed, and Zashi has gotten a little bit more close. And Deku is five now. And let's say one night. Zashi just wastes Deku up and says, Hey, do you, do you want to spend some time with your old man? Deku excited, saying, Yeah, yeah, please. Where are we going? 
Because don't worry, it's a secret. And he takes the car and they drive off. They come up upon this huge Japanese style mansion and Deku is like excited saying, Where are we? This place looks awesome. This is how she was smiling saying, oh, Don't worry about it. Some of my friends just want heard about you and want to hear you sing. They even have a special tank just so you can use your quirk to the fullest. As Suku's excited when they come up inside and they see the, his little stage. It's pretty much just a tank full of water with a rock uh, above it. And they're just staring at us because he just gave them some weird looks and just, uh, just calm down and just let them hear your beautiful voice, okay? Izuku just takes a deep breath, gets in the water, and transforms. This is what they see, but Hazashi somewhat still sees this staring at him. And gets a little unnerved. And Deku then starts singing. And they are amazed. They start seeing visions of happiness. The way their lives used to be. Or at least could have been. When the song is done, this man shows up. And grabs Hazashi by his shoulder and says... Hey, come on, let's, let's, why don't we catch up, Zashi? It's like, huh, oh, sure. And he tells Zuko, I'll be right back, okay? Zuko will smell and just waves. Okay, see you later, Dad. And they leave. They ask him to sing again, which Deku is more than happy to do. And hours go by, he's worried. And he asks, uh, Where's my dad? They start chuckling and goes into full on laughter. And a man comes back and says, Oh, your dad? He's gone. And he just went on home to his wife. And, you yeah, know, left you here. Like, what? Why? <sighs> Apparently, you're not that smart kid, though. How about I just spell it out for you? Your dad sold you to us because of that lovely voice of yours. What? Yeah. See, your father's love is not unconditional. When he just told us when he heard your voice, he saw dollar signs and decided to put you up for auction on uh, the dark web and we took the bait and we can say you were worth every penny no no you're, you're lying no no we're not if anything I think you are going to be very helpful you're going to make us so much money that what we paid your dad is going to be mere pocket change. You know, I can stop singing. And then you and your family could die. Right. So, you can sing or risk your family's life. It's up to you, really. Deku just looks down. I knew you'd made the right choice, kid. Anyway, good night. And they all leave. Deku starts crying. He knows if he even tries to escape, they will catch him. And will kill him.
but he still thinks his dad will come back sooner or later. Okay, let's cut back to Zashi and Inko waking up. Inko goes in just to check on Izuku. And, it's like, and she screams. Zashi wakes up and is like, oh, what, what is it? Izuku, he's gone. He's gone. Like, what do you mean he's gone? And Zashi looking surprised. Just, just looks worried to Inko. He's gone. He's not in his room. Do you think he could, could have just walked out the door? He's like, no, no. He's he's scared of being out on the alone in the dark. He's he wouldn't do that. I'm gonna pull out some more posts. We we need we need to we need to find him. Don't worry, we will. Months go by. They don't find him. Zashi decided that he, losing Izuku was too stressful and leaves Inko. Inko goes into depression, still not giving up on finding her son. Meanwhile, Deku was forced to sing for the scum of the earth and then on the ground. Singing for all sorts of villains who would just throw money at the Yakuza just to hear Deku sing. First, you just have to beat the villains with a demo of his voice. The recording doesn't compare to the live version, considering that his powers doesn't carry on to you know, record devices, at least, that's not yet, and Deku is slowly losing hope, and being saved, by now he knows that his father truly didn't love him, and he just begs, Anyone just to let him go. That he wants to see his mother again. They just laugh at him. Now, they do feed him well, but it's mainly sushi. Let's say he's. Hmm. Seven now. And. His singing voice has gotten stronger to the point where he can just leave everyone silent. Like there's nothing else in the world but them and Deku's concerts. Then one day, the Yakuza up and bite their long standing rivals to enjoy. Zuku's show. Zuku just starts singing, and during the show, someone of the Yakuza members just takes a gun and starts shooting. Deku stops for a second, then the boss says, Keep singing! Mind you, they, they plug their ears, but Deku didn't know that. You did the rivals. So he's like, wait, what happened? Are they immune to my voice now? And Deku, still scared, just has is just keeps singing. While they have their fun killing everyone. Deku watches in horror as several people are slain right in front of him. He finishes his song and yells at them, Why did you do that? I thought you just want them to see my concert or whatever. You didn't have to kill anyone. He's looking at him like, Kid, these are our rivals. 
If anything, we should be thanking you for helping us get rid of them. What? Oh, yeah. You see, that's the only reason why we invited them here. We notice how people just... Let me explain. <clears throat> With your beautiful voice, time seems to stand still. And we got all these beautiful memories and visions of happiness when you sing. And <laughs> we just really wanted to see how it would affect these idiots. And to our surprise, they they were completely stunned and they didn't even notice the first shot. All they could hear was that voice of yours. So, good work, kid. You helped us get rid of someone who's really been a pain in our asses. No, I didn't do anything. All I did was distract them long enough. You were a perfect distraction. <laughs> Be proud of yourself. Not many kids can accomplish what you did. <laughs> Seriously, with your concerts alone, we more than made up for what we fought you for. And now with this, we get more territory to cultivate. So, chin up. You did very well. And we just throw him some sushi and some Deku just shocked when he realizes that they're right. This is all his fault. And Boss just shows up saying, oh, Kid, you are a gold mine. You were a wise investment on our part. But just remember, keep singing and you and your family will be a okay. But little does Deku you know, they only really kept an eye on Hazashi. And since he left Inko, he's the only one who they really had their eye on. They know nothing about where Inko lives or anything like that. But Deku doesn't know that. Anyway, they moved him to a bigger tank. One that they could just open and close whenever and fill it with water. Because they mainly just leave him in there. Deku cries himself to sleep that night. And he's unable to feel the tears. That he produces he doesn't get to express any emotions anymore his eyes become a little bit more faded and that was the first time we ever seen someone die in such a brutal way and that is where I'm going to end this off so, yeah. Yeah, that's... I did that. <clears throat> well, like I said, Rod, the angelic fox, he's pretty good at his wife, too. Uh, it's been a while since I actually seen, seen him uh, do anything new like this, and this, but he does do some good what-ifs. Might look at the name of his channel in the description if I can really remember. Yeah. Either way, hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.